everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is emily welcome today i am going on a bible study date with one of my sisters in christ i'm so excited because number one i've never been like on an actual bible study date i usually do like bible study on zoom or like with my sisters so it's going to be super fun to actually go out with someone my age and do a bible study we're going to a coffee shop that i've never been to i'm gonna do my regular makeup like at this point i don't switch up my makeup routine ever i do the same makeup all the time by the way it's 10 14 and i have to be ready at 11 30 i already picked on my outfit i already took a shower so all i have to do is my hair and my makeup but that takes the longest to do your girl you know low like a mountain that cannot be moved just as a ego <laughs> ariana what are you doing here <laughs> I found freedom in you, a peace which brings me through. Deserving of worship and spirit and truth, the light of life. Okay, now that I'm done doing my makeup, I want to do a messy bun in my hair. Like a messy but not messy type blend. You know what I mean? Like it looks messy, but it's really like I did my hair. It is 10.46 and I'm not even dressed. My hair is not even done. Okay, it's 11 o'clock and I have to start getting dressed. I'm going to wear these hoop earrings. I absolutely love accessories. If I could buy a jewelry shop, I would. But let's get dressed. I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing. I want to wear these white glasses just to take a picture. <laughs> just to take a picture, okay? And I'm going to wear this shirt. These oversized baggy camel pants that fit me huge. But like, it makes the outfit cuter, okay? And I'm wearing my black cats. And yes, I'm obsessed with my black cats because why the heck do they match every single outfit that I want to wear? <laughs> no, let me stop. But for real, I'm wearing my black cats and they match everything. Like, I just have to wear them. I wanted to wear my breads, but my sister said that doesn't match my outfit. So I'm just like, whatever. I'll just wear my black cats, I guess. They're my favorite shoes anyway, so I'm not really complaining. Okay, this is my outfit. I kind of want to wear my regular glasses, my seeing glasses, and then I'm going to put these back on just for pictures, but I think this outfit is so cute. I love it. great time my friend and i went to a little coffee shop downtown and it was just super nice relaxing we were basically like the only two in there i got a bacon egg and cheese on a bagel with avocado and it was so good it didn't hit like it would hit in new york but it was still really good like i wasn't mad at the money i spent it was actually good we just had like a super great conversation about jesus and just hanging out with your fellow sister in christ or going out with people that believe in the same things as you is just so refreshing it's like reaffirming your love for god because you you know that you love god for yourself but then when you see other people burning with the same fire as you is like wow <laughs> like i don't know if that makes sense but if you're a christian hopefully you'll understand it and i feel like even if you're not a christian you can understand what it's like hanging out with people with the same mindset as you the same beliefs or like even people that enjoy the same things as you not everyone in your life is going to think the same way as you and that is 100 percent okay just don't deny it just know and understand and admit that you have friends like that because i hope that makes sense and i'm not trying to convict you or anything i'm not god 
but I'm just saying like be honest with yourself and be honest with the people around you and if you don't feel uplifted every time you're hanging out with someone then it's time to stop hanging out with that person if you feel like you're always being drained when you're hanging out with certain people it's time to stop hanging out with those kind of people anyways let's not get into all of that because yeah no i want to show you guys i got this new cleansing foam and i have never tried it but this influencer <laughs> not me being influenced this influencer that i watch raves about it and i'm like hmm i really need something new and then i got this moisturizer and this i heard is amazing and it's not from that influencer i've just been wanting to get my hands on it for so long but i've been waiting to finish the moisturizer that i have now and i hope it's really good i've read reviews about it i read the ingredients i'm pretty sure it's gonna work very well on my skin I'm just excited to use it. I will try this out and then I will let you guys know what I think about it Or when I get all of my new skincare, I will give you guys like an updated skincare routine But I don't like recommending products until I've used them for at least a month So I'm not gonna tell you guys to go out and buy them I'm not gonna tell y'all but if you want to buy it by all means if you've been wanting to I am so tired. It's only six o'clock, but this is like 40 minutes earlier than i usually wake up i used to wake up at 4 30 to 5 to go to the gym since i don't do that anymore it's made my sleeping schedule different i look crazy i look nuts i honestly don't care it's all about being consistent and disciplining myself so let's get ready for work and then spend some time with jesus This stuff pumps out so much, I just need a little bit. Like, you don't even need too much of this. Look at how long my hair is. Don't play my hair. I am so tempted to straighten it, but since I have a Galentine's party in February, I'm going to try not to straighten my hair until then. And I should just wait until my birthday, which is in April, because I'm not straightening my hair more than twice this year so i have to choose my battles anyways let's hurry up and get ready so that we can actually have time to spend with jesus i'm going to do my hair straight back like this because yesterday i had a middle part and i want to switch my parts because it's not good to put too much tension on one part I wonder, I wonder, what can be? <laughs> Stop! Isn't this so Still fail to explain Father, your love never ceases Even in the midst of my darkest days Love flows like a river And never ever seems to run dry So if I could 
Just finished baking the cookies. They look so good, so pretty, so perfect, so cute. I love making chocolate chip cookies because I don't like chocolate, but for some reason, my double chocolate chip and my chocolate chip cookies are so good that I can't help but indulge in them. Um, I'm about to put gloves on and package them. Last night, I put my hair into these braids because I didn't feel like doing my curly hair routine this morning. When I was younger, like in middle school, I used to do braid outs because I didn't know how to take care of my curly hair. And last night, I was like, ugh, I really don't feel like waking up early. I just can't. I just don't want to. I woke up late. Not late. I woke up at 6.11, but that's late because... It doesn't give me enough time to like do Bible study before I go to work. So to me, that is so late. Hello? What? Okay. Bye, love you too. Yeah, now I'm trying to hurry up. But hopefully my hair looks good because I don't have time to try to fix it. I'm surprised I even woke up because I went to sleep at almost 2 in the morning. So I had like 4 hours of sleep. So I just know today's going to be rough and it's... My fault. Why, like, why would I do it to myself? I don't know. I always do this. I'm also trying to record for TikTok while I vlog. That's like double the editing. Oh, today I also want to film a Q&A slash life update that I was supposed to upload like in 2023 in December. But you know what? It's better late than ever. Okay, this is my hair. It doesn't look great, but it's better than having my hair in a tight bun for three days in a row. Mm -hmm. It is Sunday, January 21st. I already did my makeup for church. I just have to do my hair. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. Usually I wash my hair on Sundays, but this morning I didn't. I just like wanted to be fast or whatever. But I kind of want to brush my hair out, wet it, put it into small braids, wait an hour for those braids to like marinate, <laughs> and then take out the braids and style my hair. Look at the difference. I'm going to spray on some of my noodle head spray. Okay, now that I'm done braiding the bottom, I'm going to take this down. And I'm going to braid this. And it's going to go like... While we wait for my hair to marinate, we're going to do JoJo's hair. What the heck is marinate? <laughs> Why is your hair marinating? <laughs> because I want it to be wavy and not curly. It's going to be curly regardless. Your hair is naturally curly. Don't be a hater. I'm not being a hater. I'm not your mother. What did you do to me? Yo, Ariana, come here. She actually just took my hair out. No way. I look bald. Come here. That's just your hairline. <laughs> no, girl. My, my head is off. I showed you like, that Jocelyn got like a cast. Well, now she has a boot um, because she tore her calf muscle during soccer. I kind of love y'all hanging on that one, but everybody, I'm sorry, I apologize. Everybody, everybody at school thought I tore my ACL. Yeah, she tore her calf muscle um, two videos ago. So yeah, that's what happened. Sorry I left y'all hanging like that. If you were curious, that's what happened. So much sorrow, but we've had hope and joy of tomorrow. We've had so much pain and we've shared so much sorrow, but we've had hope and the joy of tomorrow. Okay. Is 
she gets the egg. This one? The yeah. Egg? I don't even like She'd like your head. My sisters and I are going to try True Fruit for the first time. Are you ready? Why are you looking at me like that? Why do you have to talk like that? Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Mm. It's freezing. It's really good though. Mm. So cold. It tastes really, really good though. It's so cold on my teeth. It has white chocolate in it too. Mm -hmm. You have a light to me. Good morning, guys. Today is Monday, January 22nd. I just got out of the shower. I was going to wash my hair, and then when I was in the shower, I changed my mind. But I am about to do Bible study, and I really want to do my nails today. Um, I even... Look at this. I wrote down a whole list of things I want to do today. I organized my nail drawer already. I already did my laundry. So that's two things off of the list. I have to order pictures for my Galentine's party. I have to start editing this YouTube video to be up next week. And then I put do my nails if there's time. My handwriting looks crazy. But before anything, I'm going to do Bible study and then I'm going to make breakfast. So I'm currently reading the book of John. I read John 6 verse 70 and it says, Jesus replied to them, didn't I choose you the 12? Yet one of you is a devil. He was referring to Judas, Simon, Thycreate's son. I don't know how to pronounce that word. One of the 12 because he was going to betray him. I love that verse. I mean, I don't love that somebody betrayed Jesus. I love that verse because it is a representation of how Jesus knows us before we even know us. Jesus knows our intention, our heart posture. He knows everything before we even know it. Or even if we think we're hiding something from him, we can't because he already knows. I just love that verse and I wanted to share that. So verse of the day for you. If you didn't read your Bible, go read it now. Period. I got this ring yesterday at... Um, the flea market that we, I mean it wasn't a flea market it was an art show that I went to with my sisters and my mom and I love it it doesn't have the full effect because my nails are not done but it's just so beautiful I love it so much yesterday I was at the mall and I was at Pandora and I was talking to my sister about how I really want a purity ring basically a purity ring is like a promise to Jesus that you won't take it off until the day of your wedding and you will stay pure until you're married even though i am not pure because of my past how do i say this <laughs> i'm gonna just be blunt okay i made a promise to jesus that i will remain abstinent until marriage because of how i found him um i made this commitment to him a long time ago i just never had a ring to signify it and now i do 
and I am obsessed with it and yeah it's very beautiful and it's just crazy how I was talking about it with my sisters at the mall and then we leave the mall and we see this random art show we've never seen this before so we decided to just go to it and I saw this ring and I was like no I need it I want it I need it now um and I won't take it off until my husband takes it off my finger in God's name Anyways, let's make breakfast because I'm hungry. salchicha rice with sausage and breaded chicken it's 5 53 now so i'm going to eat even though i'm not that hungry but if i don't eat now i can't eat after seven so i'm gonna just eat as much as i can whatever i don't eat i'll just save for lunch tomorrow for work showed you guys my nails but these are my nails they're so cute i kind of wish i didn't put glitter on them but that's okay anyways i'm gonna try to vlog today because i didn't vlog anything yesterday and i want to end this vlog on a good note so let's get to it camera doesn't even do the sunset i mean the sunrise justice man it's always so pretty bagel at home but but i bought a coffee from duncan and in my mind i'm saving money because i just bought a coffee but i did buy hash browns but mind your business i mind your business i save money because i didn't buy a bagel i brought cinnamon to my job so that when i buy coffee i can add cinnamon to it because coffee with cinnamon just tastes so much better trust me try it and trust me because you're gonna love it and you're gonna be like dang girl Emily, you was right with some caramel i'm trying to eat my breakfast before it gets really busy here at work, so I'll see y'all in a bit. Crazy, but it won't be that for long. 
Obviously, I'm about to go to church and then after church I have to bake so I will see you guys when I am back so that we can bake together okay guys it is currently 10 18 and we are about to bake some cookies also I have to be up at 5 in the morning mind your business I could do it I could do it it's okay we are gonna bake red velvet and double chocolate chip cookies i'm gonna put everything into this bowl first because it's just so much easier than putting everything into my kitchen aid first and then i'll put it little by little in my kitchen aid i'm so smart i'm doing the red velvet cookies in here and the double chocolate chip cookies in here since i bake so much nothing is in its regular packaging anymore i literally have everything in like my own containers because i just refill everything so much Sometimes I'll put cinnamon inside of the cookie mixture, but other times I'll put one teaspoon of instant coffee and it just makes the double chocolate chip cookies taste like so much more chocolate. It's, it's so good. It's just so good. My least favorite thing to add is this, which is cocoa powder because it's so messy and cocoa powder or cocoa powder smells so strong. I mean, it's not strong. It just gives your nose like a... <laughs> I don't know what that was. It just gives you a whiff. Like of something, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Do you guys use Locket? Because I am obsessed with Locket. I know I don't got nothing to do with bacon, but I'm obsessed. If you want to add me, how do I add strangers on this? <laughs> I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to put the link in my bio so y'all can add me and we could be Locket buddies. Um, I'm going to take a picture for my girlies on my Locket. Now I'm going to add a little caption. I'll be like, new vlog next week. Boom. Then I'm going to send it to my girlies. I only have like two people on here that actually be posting. Like what I posted two days ago. My nails. Okay, anyways. Back to baking. I have these boxes, but I don't know how to use them. And I really want to put the cookies in here because I have them. Might as well use them. You know what I mean? I'm going to figure it out and then I'm going to show you guys when I'm done. I figured out how to close it, but now I'm afraid to like open it all over again. So I'm going to just slide the cookies in here. I am literally obsessed with how this came out. <gasps> this looks so cute. I'll try to get a better video, but right now I'm going to wrap it with ribbon. So I'm going to show you guys that. They look so cute. This is the double chocolate chip. These are the red velvet. I tasted both of them and they taste really good. You know I had to taste that stone wing. They smell and taste so good. Ooh. 